why spend the money on these uh, premium priced uh, Tron uh, 7 uh, millimeter uh, wrenches? Uh, you know, other tools, you know, that are much cheaper, you know, should be able to do the job. Now, uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, uh, dynamite uh, tool will not work. And the, the reason for that is that the uh, wrench itself is too fat and it will not uh, uh, fit here, okay? Uh, so, so this one is out just because of that. Uh, but you can use the really, really nice uh, uh, ProTec uh, RC uh, seven millimeter wrench and, and it actually works. Uh, it is a, a thin wall, so it actually uh, uh, works really nicely and it, it will work. You just need two of them, of course. Um, but why do I prefer to use uh, uh, this one? Now, the reason why is because this is actually uh, very uh, shallow, okay? The, uh, so in this case, is this much uh, shallow, okay? Compared to the Protec uh, one, it's actually pretty pretty deep, all right? Um, so much uh, much deeper. Now what, what that means is that uh, if I use one of these uh, uh, nuts, I can actually place it on the uh, uh, Tron uh, wrench and it's almost a uh, flush with the end. So what that, uh, what that does is that uh, when you have a, a very uh, short uh, a thread, I can actually um, uh, use the tool to uh, a thread uh, onto, uh, I guess that the thread, uh, the threaded end of the shaft. If I use the Protec one, it actually uh, sinks in there. All right, so, so it's actually pretty, pretty deep, and it will not uh, uh, reach when I uh, try to uh, 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 use the wrench on the uh, shaft. Uh, the threads is just not long enough. So, um, so, you, so what I've done in the past is uh, use a regular set of tweezers and it's kind of a, not, it's a little challenging, but you know, with enough uh, patience, you get it, is to um, uh, uh, just start the, the one or a couple of threads uh, and then uh, finish the, uh, uh, tightening with, the, uh, with this particular uh, or, or any uh, seven millimeter uh, wrench with a thin wall. But this tool just makes it so much uh, easier. So to me, it, it was worth uh, uh, buying, uh, paying the premium price for it. When assembling the tail, you really wanna make sure that the tail slider uh, slide is, uh, slides uh, very freely on the shaft itself. Um, uh, maybe, uh, uh, something uh, like this. Uh, so here insert it on the shaft and look at this. See, it just falls on its own weight and it, there, it doesn't get hung on any particular uh, spot. All right. Now, this is my third uh, Tron uh, build uh, that I've never had any issues with Tron, uh, Tron helicopters, but there are other helicopters that I have run into issues and it's usually not a big deal. I uh, just have to make sure that you sand the, um, uh, the shaft itself with very, very fine uh, grid uh, sandpaper, and it just takes a very little sanding, all right? And obviously you clean off the, uh, any uh, uh, excess, and, but, the, but you really want the, uh, the slider to just uh, uh, slide uh, freely on the shaft itself. And, and this one is, uh, is perfect. This is one of my favorite features of the Tron 7 and the Tron 5.8 uh, helicopter, uh, for that matter. So this is a tail case. And normally, um, uh, there is a, a little bit of a lateral play. I'm actually uh, pulling and pushing the shaft. And you can see uh, here that the, there is a, a play. And, and you can actually hear it. Okay. So normally, how do you take that play out? Well, yeah, you, you just add uh, shims uh, on the end um, until you don't have the play anymore. Uh, but that's a, a, a trial and error, kind of a, a time-consuming uh, process. And, you know, at times you may add a, a little too many shims and you notice that the, um, um, that the shaft does not... Uh, uh, rotate uh, freely so that means that it's over shim and that's what you take more shims out uh, until you get it just right uh, this uh, helicopter offers a really neat uh, way of uh, doing this so this is a is a collar uh, on on its own right now separate from the actual pulley 
Um, the pulley here, I already tightened it so that the pulley is not going to move, but the shaft, uh, I'm sorry, the collar here does uh, move uh, uh, laterally, all right? So here, uh, what I do is I, I line up the, um, the little flat spot in the shaft uh, uh, inside the, uh, the, the collar, and the flat spot is uh, in line with this other flat spot here. Um, so I, uh, so I guess I, I pull on this pulley, uh, pull uh, or pull left, uh, pull uh, or pull right. I'm sorry, uh, pull left on the uh, on the collar, um, and while maintaining a tension, uh, I um, uh, will tighten uh, the screw. And after I tighten the screw, uh, you'll see that. There is no no uh, no play. There's no play whatsoever. No lateral play. You cannot even hear anything. I'm going to be pulling and pushing. See, there's nothing. Uh, so uh, so basically, this is just an, a, a quick, easy uh, 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 design uh, uh, mechanism to uh, eliminate any lateral uh, play on this uh, uh, tail shaft. Uh, the, I don't know if Tron uh, came up with this design on their own or or maybe this was designed by some obscure helicopter back from 30, 40, 50 years ago. But I can tell you from the uh, compared to the current uh, 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 other helicopters in the market, uh, Tron is the only one that has this design currently. And it's just freaking cool. Just for completion, whether you're using the Tron system with the uh, uh, collar uh, system, which is pretty cool, or some other uh, helicopter just that uses shims, you want to make sure that once you are done, you know, taking all of the um, lateral play uh, out, okay, uh, that the actual um, uh, rotor uh, rotates uh, free of drag, okay. And yeah, whoops, there we go. So, you know, there's no drag. I don't feel anything whatsoever. If you over, if you put over shims or over shim, you will notice that there is some drag, especially compared to having no uh, uh, under shim. Uh, so again, you don't want any drag. Over drag will not only affect the efficiency, uh, but also, uh, uh, really damage these uh, radial uh, uh, bearings, uh, the, basically the two radial, ba radial bearings. Um, so again, you really don't want any drag on these. For those of you who have a bad case of OCD, uh, you should consider getting medicated for it. But in this case, uh, if you are not medicated uh, and you want to end up so that uh, the tail belt is uh, right side up with the, um, I guess the, uh, the lettering uh, when you set up the helicopter. You have to make sure that when you uh, secure the tail belt to the, uh, the tail case that, the, that you can actually uh, read the letters when you orient the tail case uh, this way. So basically, here you can read the letter, letters uh, right side up. The, um, the rotor is uh, down here. And uh, uh, this will be the idler uh, uh, mechanism. So uh, this is what secures uh, the belt. So make sure that you can read the, the letters when the uh, tail rotor is down. Here's another cool feature about the Tron uh, boom. The boom itself, it's octagonal, uh, so it has uh, uh, eight sides. However, the sides are not uh, uh, perfectly uh, straight, so they have a little bit of a of a spherical uh, angle or, or a circular. So let's call it uh, a uh, convex um, uh, type of our curvature. So it's kind of a, a uh, circles out a little bit. Okay, but the, the main four sides uh, do have a. Uh, a little circular shape to them uh, so, tend to add strength just like a bridge uh, does. So after you insert the um, tail case onto the boom, 
like, uh, oops, I think I got the tail belt in. You don't just um, insert these uh, uh, bolts, a bolt and bright onto the uh, boom itself to secure the uh, tail case, but you actually use these um, uh, shims or spacers. What's cool about these spacers is that they have a flat side and they have a convex side, all right? And the convex side uh, abuts the concave side of the uh, of the womb. So, so the part that actually uh, uh, um, is uh, angulated, that's where you insert the, um, or uh, abut the um, spacer. And it's a perfect uh, fit. This design is particularly sound as it uh, tends to prevent the uh, boom from like fracturing right around this area. Where, but by using this um, uh, spacer that uh, it is just the correct fit for the boom. Uh, it prevents uh, this uh, a boom from fracturing.